What's up guys, welcome to another YouTube video, and in this run, we achieve infinite potions. Now, infinite of any kind is really fun, but when you get infinite potions, it's a special kind of fun, because you're disrespecting the enemies while you're glugging potions looking for exactly what you want. That's what happened in this run. There's other crazy things that happen, like Necronomicon Chemical X stuff, but it's the potions you guys want to see, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Drop a like if you guys do, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. But it's the silent that's taking it home. I was one lift away, I know, maybe I shouldn't have rested, one, this one lift, one more lift, so many different things. Alright, make a prediction. Uh, let's go. Upgrade, snipe, or rare. Or oh, snipe is never happening. Maybe it is. Maybe snipe is happening, let's do it. One lift away, that means I could have lifted, right? Could have listened and had it. Spot weakness instead. So, but then I wouldn't have had vulnerable. Does the map check out? No snipe. Let's get Necro again. You know, just, get, just give me Necro again, no big, no big deal. Well, the thing is, I wanted to make it, I wanted to kill one so that I wouldn't get attacked. But then... Um... Spot instead of Cleave. My question is, how much damage would I have had if I didn't have Vulnerable, though? Because the Shocker was Vulnerable. Early Potion by Malaise. Wow. Some good cards. I right, make a prediction, boys. Are we winning this or not? Nah? I guess I could have been a blue key. <laughs> what is this? Step or take a poison. My potions? Hello? Owen Moore is getting value, finally. What if I give up my latest and get max HP? My latest is a good card. But max HP is good for the Gremlin up. I mean, for the slime boss. And my latest is bad in the slime boss. I'm being proactive. Potions, please. <laughs> oh my god. This shit is this is incredible. This is incredible.
I wonder if I would ever do butt this glass knife. And now I'm full life, max HP, and I have my laser back. I could do butt, but I also have a lot of max HP, I don't know. I could do butt. Or like these or look for like trip or something. I don't know. Do I wanna waste a, a potion here? Do pot or I could do colorless. I should have played Malays there. I probably should have used my life as a resource a little bit more. To have it more life as a resource. Because Dupont's a pretty big one to give up. What is going on? Man. This game is giving me luck in one way and effing me the other. shop but I figured okay I don't need a shop I wanted the spark over the shop this this could this could backfire it could backfire it could backfire You rubbed your Buddha's head? Hey, man. That's a guaranteed win now. Whoa. Okay, I'm ta you're talking to me. You're, you're talking to me. You're giving me Blade Dance. I'm listening. I'm listening to these green cards. Oh, round two. Oh my god. No curse either. Who is this guy? Guys, this is how the spire works. Look at this, double strike. <laughs> Man, you guys were here. I think I can skip this one. Bottle Flame the Redemption Story, yes. Oh, God. And this is how things go bad. Potion bow? Pog? Do you want to make Alchemize free? Nah. Maybe it's better? Maybe. Phantasmal free? I don't know. When do we want energy upgrades? 
We gotta start adding acrobatics and getting like energy upgrades here. Now this is a little bit out of my comfort zone. I don't usually have like attack damage carry decks. This is all physical damage. I wonder, I wonder if I should pivot to the shop or not. We skip that chest. Or we can get the blue key out of the way. Okay, that's too good. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna have another curse in my life. I think I skipped the campfire. Fortunate. Trying to save some life, but instead we just have a mayhem. But mayhem could be good here. We can do this. Man, my turn ones are bad. How'd that happen? My turn ones are pretty bad. My turn ones are pretty good. My turn ones are pretty bad. <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> My turn ones shouldn't be bad, you know? It's like... <laughs> Alright, so I got a lot of damage right now. Um... Let's figure this out. This is 32 damage. I got a lot of damage right now. This is 80. Oh my god. Damn. Clap it up. Incredible. Alright, so we have acrobatics. Our potion chance is getting pretty high. Uh, liquid memories here. You want to see liquid memories lethal? This is not helping my turn one actually. My potion chance is getting even higher. What's going on? That doesn't help my turn one. It has bag of marbles, I guess. 
This catalyst is just kind of trolling me. This helps my turn one, but I need to get my blue key and stop taking chests. But Alchemize wins. Fairy, Fairy Lizard Tail. Oh my god, I'm winning this run. Oh, I didn't realize it worked like that. Yeah, so backup is bad there. Um, because I had an scroll crap. Now we have accuracy. Um, okay. I can rest or I can upgrade. I can upgrade accuracy. I can upgrade footwork. We're not gonna need a I don't want to waste potions. Okay, I have a lot of gold going into Act 2, guys. Going into Act 3, I mean. My, act, my gold right now is 700. That means Act 3 has great insurance. I don't have to do the sparkle. I have 700, uh, 800 gold-ish going into Act 3. Now I gotta find a way to balance out this deck for the heart in Act 3, and then we're gonna be fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna rest here. Rest gives me Dreamcatcher, which is not bad, but... I could upgrade accuracy. Accuracy seems kind of backwards because most of my damage is coming from skewer, right? But I guess latency is not a bad backup. I gotta remove all of these strikes. I also gotta get rid of these curses. And Forbrook is a good upgrade as well, but it doesn't look like Forbrook is what I'm gonna be doing here. And I suppose I should rest to get Dreamcatcher. No, no, no. Let's do this uh, accuracy stuff. I wanna get rid of his uh, artifacts though. I wonder if there's like a potion I could use to get rid of artifacts instead, but okay. Now I need to get like a, a terror in the deck. And they're probably gonna steal some of my good cards, so I'll, I'll kill the minions. I like Phantasmal. use Phantasmal here. But it's not a very good turn next turn to use it, I guess. <clears throat> Although I can Acrobatics back into it. I'll, I'll do this. I want to make the deck smaller. First. I don't want to draw back into these cards. This is good. This is good stuff. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now my goal here is... I probably want a glass knife in the next turn. Still the same run, buddy. One hundred sixty damage is pretty decent. I could use fairy as a block, or I could block. I have weaken right, so there's a world where I could block here theoretically. I guess I can go for like the Sneko oil and see if I can block with that. Alright, it doesn't always work out like you anticipate.
There's more fairies where that comes from. Blade is doing six per. Fairy. Ooh, nightmare is how things get broken. Now my potion chance, see this is sad. I was like, okay, I could use a potion here liberally because I have potions for sure. Turns out I don't get potions for sure. First time you discard, you get a energy. I think that's better than having choker. We have two acrobatics and we have a prepared. Plus survivor. Let's go hit the shop and do three leads. How's that sound? Hit the shop for three leads. Now I can try to look for events to get Mind Bloom, or I can go for hallway fights, which are pretty rough, I guess. But I can go three leads like this. Or I can try to maximize some events. So if I go here, I get a later shop, but I get, like I skip an elite and I get a later shop. So the way this works actually is, this right here is saying I prefer two events to an elite. And this is saying I prefer an elite to two events. What's up, Saru? And in my situation, I'm thinking two events for an elite. What does the deck want? It wants raid form. Go for an elite. If it's a monster world hunter, it's too so fun. I should go for alchemize first, that was my bad. Take a piercing will. I'm gonna need that for the heart. Let's look for uh Okay. The accuracy is what I was looking for. Not bad. So what do I nightmare to make this really easy? That's perfect. I played Dauntless, which is similar. I guess, you know, I could Nightmare Alchemize in this, so... This is how we make this fight really easier, all right? Is that we find a lot of block on this specific turn. Okay, on this next turn, we'll find a lot of block. I just poisoned this crap, dude. Oh god. I probably should have poisoned this thing. Alright, I'll do it again, but this time. All right, this should be easy to kill, right? Right? I do a double damage every turn, should be no problem. I just need to draw into some block. Do I even have block in the deck? There, that's some block. Hey, man, what a pain in the ass these thorny guys are, huh? Who, who invited them? Nah, I nightmared my phantasm for that fight. You going to a friend's wedding? That's cool, man. Do you like weddings? Weddings are pretty fun. Depends. I've only so I've only been to weddings as a caterer. In New York, I catered a lot of weddings, and it was always a blast because I wasn't I wasn't invested in any of the 
the interrelationships or the, the bride and the groom or their friends or the... So I just heard music from good bands and I wasn't getting drunk, but... From an outsider, you know, weddings are fun to dance to. Okay. I can't alchemize because I need to kill this. This deck is struggling. You're grooming some at your main high school weddings? Yeah, that's awesome, dude. I hear you. Or you can just treat it as a formality. I mean, if you don't like weddings, you don't like weddings, it's fine. It's your formality. And Usually the brides like the weddings more on average, so. While I live stream your wedding? Oh, God. I don't know about that. I feel like this deck needs block, right? So Dodger Roller is like starting to get to some block. This is a... Uh, I need Ray Form or something, right? Okay, so we have Welly Plans. That's a good start. Sub T-Peaks. Now, let's start moving these strikes. Our strikes are probably better than Injury though, right? But Injury, we can get Blue Candle and a Blue Moon. I don't know. I have a lot of junk in my deck. I should remove an injury though. Although the end, okay. I could get Duvidol. So maybe I remove a strike first. They're both curses from my perspective. Although, strike does have Phantasmal Killer to bolster it. An injury is just an injury. And looking for Duvidol is kind of, but I am going for three elites, so Duvidol could come. It's weird. Do I take Prayer Wheel now just so I can find rares? Don't know. Is this a discovery deck? Doubtful. Is this shop awful? Yes, it is awful. Am I married? I'm not married. I've been in a relationship for a long time. But I never formally got married. Never really cared for it. That is not to discourage other people from their marriage dreams. Go be lovers in the sun. I personally just wasn't too interested. Plus, I'm young. Funny how I'm old and I'm playing games, but I'm young when it comes to marriage, right? You know, it's... Um... Anyways. Um... This shop sucks. Spoon doesn't even do anything for me. Spoon, okay, is this ever a spoon nightmare malaise? No, it's not. It's never that. I speak a little bit of Spanish. Or are you talking about when I say voy a casa? Or when I said dale, brode. Así, simple. Muy fácil. What did I say? Oh, voy a casa is like an expression. Um, um, I think it's from Borat <laughs> or something. I just say Boyakasha and I'm not sure why. It's like, uh, it's from Borat or one of Sasha Cohen's many characters. Ali G. It's from Ali G. That's, that's the one. It's Ali G. Boyakasha. Watch, pick, look up Ali G on YouTube. It's funny stuff. Oh, you gotcha. The shop's horrible. I, I'm staring at the shop wondering, what the, is it going to get better? Is it... Can I re-roll the shop? Man. I might pivot to the other shop because that shop was so bad. Oh, remember the Thorny Boys we talked about? Alright, it's here, boys. The dream is here. The dream is here, guys. Alright. Truth be told, I haven't watched the Borettes. I know. In middle school, everybody was talking about Borat and how funny it was. I only saw the clips and I never actually watched it. My wife. I've seen the Ali G show, though.
Yeah, I've never actually watched it. Alright, that was our Nightmare Alchemist. That was our play, guys. Did it work out like we wanted it to? Not exactly. Not particularly. So what's our game plan for this fight? Double thorny boys? I need to do the, the um, Phantasmal Killer stuff. This fight is not pleasant. There's the Phantasma Pillar. This is a key part of the process. Alright, this is a key part of the process here. I did the order wrong. I meant to do this dagger for discard and then strike. Whoops. All right, here it is. Here it is. Key part of the process. We get the block. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then... Then... What a pain in the ass. Alright, this is it, this is it, this is it. Alright, this is it. We get the block here. I gotta do it again. It's not even like, like I'm not worried that my, my deck's gonna lose or anything. I mean, it would be n It would be nice if wasn't so tedious. We made progress. We made progress. This is what you gotta do in the spire sometimes, guys. This is the ugly, this is the under, the seedy underbelly of the spire. People don't talk about this part of the spire. This is what it takes. talk about it. Now that ruins a recalcum sometimes, right? 
but what's the upside? The upside is I can nightmare that. And I was thinking, yeah, Max is 19. And I was thinking, that shop is so bad I might want another one. I'm getting to the point where like I'm getting tired of the spire. That those last couple floors are like at burn me out. I'm already burnt out. I want a terror though. Let's see if accuracy is any good here. Let's see if accuracy is any good here, guys. Crippling or is it acrobatics again? What does crippling do? It gets rid of artifacts, right? It does some AOE stuff. Is it just another acrobatics? Also, what am I bottling? Fuck, it's a kind of a, a, a decent sized chest. It's a decent sized chest, uh, but I can't afford another curse. Oh. I have Matryoshka. Fuck. I got baited into Matryoshka. I got baited into Matryoshka. I'm an alchemizer.
in traffic. Dupe pot. Yeah, these posters were useless and I got a pain as a result, so. Yeah, that was painful. Not to mention I just did after image and took more damage. It's okay, because we're gonna Dreamcatcher this. It's just totally fine. Now I gotta get rid of so many relics. Oh my god. Alright, this is this is this is how our loss starts to look like. This is how our loss starts to look. When you get all this junk in your trunk. What is all this junk in my trunk? You know, we're gonna get a waffle here. Potion the Spire. Okay. Double Entropic. Thorny Thopter. I can take a second Alchemize. Do I need Bouncing Flash for damage though? No, take a second Alchemize. Waffle? Bottle Tornado. I got a Dolly's Mirror. Okay, there's some good stuff here. Wait a minute. Another Entropic. How do I even use all these potions? Um, do I doubt these mirror the after image that's not upgraded? Or... Um... Do I doubt these mirror nightmares so I can do more nightmare things? So nightmare is more al alchemizes with more sustain. I can nightmare... Blazes. I can nightmare after images. <laughs> Hydration. Wow. What do you guys think? Dolly's mirror nightmare or no? Or just more after images so that we can do. That's not good against the Awakened one. Alright, so what do we do against the Awakened one? What's up, Sam? How do I beat Awakened one? I got a nightmare or something against Awakened one. Yeah, it does, PVO. You agree concentrate with unseason, unseason top? Oh, I don't know. A concentrate's not bad because I do discard, like, I do draw a lot of cards. It's not the worst concentrate in the world. Right? Like, I draw cards and I can discard cards and play cards. I don't know. It's not the worst one in the world. I got real quick before I do anything. How do we beat Awaken One? If I can decide that, then we're good. Because right now I'm unsure. I don't really have a deck that beats Awaken One. Oh, I do. I Nightmare Malaise. And I can also Nightmare After Image. I'll save some potion for the next shop. Malaise is how we beat it.
Malaise, my lady. Malaise, my lady. Now, what in tarnation is this turn? Med with the how do I describe that? Mm hmm. Welcome back, buddy. I want to do screw what I'm not weakened, but that's never gonna happen, is it? It's never happening, is it? I should take piercing well there, whoopsies. Crash gas. No, that's just crash. Crash gizz is okay. Crash gizz is yeah. The boot value. It's going pretty well, man. Some spicy runs. I have. Entropic, Entropic, Ornithopter. Things are about to get wild. First, I gotta survive this crap. Alright, survived, and now we kill. The thing is, I wanna use potions because, like, if I get a potion drop. I need that sustained valley. Are we okay doing damage to the heart like this? As long as I do the aftermage stuff. I, I gotta Ember Malaise for this fight, and then I can play all the aftermages in the world. So I can Nightmare Aftermage, and then I gotta Nightmare Malaise, alright guys? Hear me out. I know it sounds crazy. I gotta Nightmare Aftermage, then I Nightmare Malaise. And that's, that's the win. That's the win con. Does it sound sketchy? It does. But these are our win cons. And sometimes in the spire you gotta be be wonky with it. Let me get some more water. Let's get in there. I guess I could do pot malaise instead. Probably easier.
I'm a Nightmare Alchemist here. back in Emerald Alchemist here. Don't tell top simulator. Um, the Pyramid Ultimate is a challenge with a bunch of roguelikes. That sounds fun, yeah, I can check it out. This is my sustain in a bottle. Wait, I could do technically nightmare, nightmare, nightmare alchemize. I could get infinite sustain. I could have done that. Should I have done that? I don't know. How, how was I going to manage that? How was I going to manage nightmare, nightmare, alchemize, nightmare, alchemize? a lot of potions this run, yeah. Nick, I could actually make our life easier. Hey guys, I'm telling you, potion runs are legit. As soon as I only thought there, I was like sky high value, and now I'm gonna have eight potions against the heart. Now, fuck it, twelve. Check this out, guys. Look at this damage. Oh, but it's not feared anymore. No, oh, I need the fear pot. No. Not like this, I'm evil. It's a weak pot. It's a me, Mario. It's a me, Mario. Round two, boys. Play that. Play that. Play that. And all of a sudden, check me out. I got four dexterity, four after image. And this guy wants to beat me how? I guess I could have drawn Pearson well. I suppose I could have drawn Pearson well. Going great. That Robert. So this is our solution for this fight and it worked out beautifully. Now here's the next solution actually. Is this. And Tasmol. And hold. I wish I had ice cream. I should be the ice cream the cake. You wanna see how this went against the heart? It's the potions. This potions is how it's gonna win against the heart. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage right now. That's a lot of damage. Rinse repeat. 
Is it so wrong to rely on potions for the, for, for the heart? It is. It's pretty, it's pretty dicey. I must admit. It is pretty dicey. Oh man. My phantasmal was supposed to be... Uh oh, I did my math wrong. Uh, math failure. Okay. I that was my first math failure, and it was like it's not that punishing. It's sort of punishing. It's sort of punishing. See, that happens sometimes. I'm not gonna need that life against the next boss, right? Now, if his time meter, time meter is also a little bit worrisome as well. It's time meter, fuck. All right, so I did this whole thing. The thing is, I really need to upgrade after image. This is why I didn't drink the coffee, guys, because I lost focus. Okay, so I did this whole thing about, like, solving a waking one. And now for this fight... I guess Nightmare After Image works as well, and Malay stuff as well. So the whole same process, the Malay is the After Image process. It all checks out. We get our draw into those things. Because it all checks out. Nightmare Alchemist on the other hand? Mm. There's my list. My first nightmare. Oh God. First nightmare. The second ember wants to be on after image, right? We're not we're not dying here, boys. Guys, it's looking suspenseful. Your butt is getting clenched. You're on the edge of your seat or not, you're completely relaxed. But we're not gonna die. So now after image is the next one you want a nightmare, right? Do I cash an after now?
I'm pulling a Naruto. After image jutsu. Malaysia jutsu. I know I can play Bade Dance, like. I can play Blade Dance for Block in the future. Which is nice. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. Our footworks are out. Now the question is, do I save Happy Weekend Serotonin? No, do I save my low Do I save Malays for the second phase? Am I rapping? No problem, I'm never in the days. It's just me and the time meter is in a haze. There's so many after images, it's like I'm crazed. Holy shit, I can't stop rhyming. No, no, seriously. Do I save this for the second phase? I don't know, I had like a little rhyming screen, I couldn't stop. I think, is there any other setup we wanna do? I'm worried about my damage actually. I guess I do Phantasmal Killer Flex Pot. Right? Phantasmal Killer Flex Pot with big serotonin. Jesus Christ. A big skewer. I read the chat. Thought about skewer. They both have S's. Jesus Christ. Alright, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say Blade Dance. Like this. Um, and then we're gonna wait for Phantasmal Killer, and that's, that's it, that's all we're gonna do. Or we die here. That, or we die here. Let's go. I'm going to the second phase is a little bit scary. It turns out my damage is really bad. So when I go to the heart, uh, how do I have less bad damage? From my Italian follower in the UK outside, thank you, man. Welcome. That's good. That's great to hear. Italian in the UK. Nightmare accuracy for the for the heart. They might be onto something. I left. Oh, I need to hold on to Pierce Smoke. I left myself with one card. Never punished. Never punished. I need to find Skewer, right? Or Blade Dance. Skewer or Blade Dance. There it is.
Imagine I wasn't weakened. Worst case scenario, I poison putt. We want to keep potion slots open anyways because we're probably going to buy another Entropic at the shop. I'm going for triple Entropic. Or maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. Alright, so I think I have to upgrade after Mitch because I want a Nightmare at first turn. Which means... Triple Contropic is pretty bad. I mean, it gives me a little bit extra potion, so I use the Flex, and then the Tropic, and then I can have a lot. I mean, still... Yeah, maybe it's not. Maybe just do pot here. I really want to upgrade After Image, though. Practice off with the Twitch Prime. Welcome back, buddy. Oh, Fairy in the bottle. Another accuracy. Oh, this is a good shove. Okay, this is a good shot. We have Lizard Tail still. We have Fairy in the Bottle. Fairy in the Bottle is pretty bad because it stops in Tropic Value. Chemical X is my damage, maybe. It's finally back. I got HP from Mango. And I got it from... Where did I get my HP from? <laughs> Seriously. Where did I get my HP from? I didn't I didn't use fruit juices. Ah, I give so this is what happened. I give up malaise. Alright. Act one, I give up malaise because I was going to get a slime boss, I wanted the full heal. The next four I got malaise right back. And then I got mango. That's 24 max HP. Kevex is good for malaise, sure, it also works in a uh, skewer. But, do we want an extra 80 damage on skewer per play? Fairy seems bad with Entropic stuff. Also, Chemical X helps to kill the Act 4 Elite as well. But what's the alternative? Is the alternative just do Chem X remove accuracy? And Blade Dense is our other source of damage? That's only one Blade Dense, one skewer, and a 37 card deck. Going for accuracy in a 37 card deck doesn't make a lot of sense. If you notice, I, I, removing a strike feels great here. This deck, do, this deck does a lot of nothing. If theoretically, if I were to get rid of all my crap, the deck gets slimmed down pretty significantly. But then I'm also going to get random statuses from the heart. Is it potion poison or just remove a strike? I don't know how if I really want to do accuracy when I only have one blade dance. Well, obviously buying a potion is pretty good when I have Ornithopter here. Takes an artifact, sure, but is artifact what my main concern is or is Skewer doing most of the work for me? I didn't get to fully look through them yet, Jonathan, but I will. So, I'm Nightmare in After Image. That's what I want to do. I feel like that's a good way to solve block. You guys are saying like a Nightmare Skewer and not be my damage. Does Remove really seem best in a 37 card deck, though? Can you believe that we had Believers in Act 1 and this is what we got into? Like, and that's when you never imagine this is where we're going. This is how the deck turns up. Like, th this is what we're a potion man. The only thing I'm contending with is that I feel like if I buy Poison Pot, I guess I buy Cloak and Dagger, or maybe not. It's okay to just buy Poison Pot, I guess.
Alright, so Shakira wins this, right? This is a really bad turn one, I gotta say. It's <laughs> a really bad turn away. Okay. 9, 27, 27, 43. And no, 43, and this is 70. Wait, this is 34. I got 77, right? I'm at 77 damage. Nah, we're doing Crippling Cloud. I only have 77 damage though. But we have all the sustain, so this is actually fine. It seems scary, but we're actually fine. We can even nightmare our alchemizers. I can wait. I can night, nightmare, nightmare, and go infinite potions here. I want to look for skewer before I before I play afterburns because that skewer kills, but skewer always kills. So I should probably do afterburns first. So my whole point is that I can actually um, Nightmare Nightmare and then Nightmare Alchemize Infinite Potions. You guys want to do it? Buckle up boys, we're going Infinite Potions. When there's a will, there's a way, I'm making it happen. So first and foremost. Foreign drop. No, foreign drop is actually quite bad. I have another alchemist in the deck, right? I do. Okay, this is safe. So I gotta get back into after image. Uh, back into nightmare. I gotta. I gotta keep this alchemist because we're gonna do nightmare, nightmare stuff. Yeah, this is, the whole point is I get full heal. That's the whole point. My Ori Calcum. My Ori Calcum, how dare you? So there's the nightmare. We gotta just get the other nightmare now. And then we name nightmare, alchemize, alchemize, and we get infinite healing. Nightmare, where are you? There it is. And just like that, guys. Buckle up. So what portion do we want to get? Two ghosts in the jars? Two ghosts in the jars, we win, right? Or two dupe pots. If we lose too much strength, oh wait a minute. We might lose too much strength. <laughs> oh god. That is a problem actually. We could lose too much strength.
Wait, I kinda wanna play that. <laughs> I should have played this first. Fuck! I wanna play that Apotheosis really bad. Uh, I'll do enough damage for that. Um, so that I'm not negative strength out of my mind, you know? I gotta do Nightmare Nightmare. I guess I could Nightmare Akamas now. Alright, this is a pretty good uh, Snake Oil turn. I made it all worse. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do too much damage, that's the thing. That's good enough. Alrighty. said that we wanted um what were the two potions we wanted two ghosts in the jars Could you drink this much? So, now my question is, two ghosts in the jar, we're okay with that, right? The goal is to get two ghosts in the jar.
Okay, we got Duke Platt. Maybe Duke Platt's okay. This war of mine, I haven't played it, no. I got two Dupots. Oh, maybe two Dupots is fine. It's not Ghost of the Dry, but it's two Dupots. Is that better? But fine from what? Oh, so. I look like Pavel from that game? Okay, I'll, ch I'll check it out. Pavel from War of Mine. I'll, I'll go Wayman Church that. Now, what, here's what I want to know though, okay? What am I do pot in? I could do pot after image, do pot after image, and then we want to say nightmare. So we want a nightmare after image, then we do pot the after images. So that's going to be six after images. And then for damage, we're going to do what for the heart? We're going to have six after images. We'll put Lizard Tail backing us up. That's pretty good. And then we have another Nightmare in the deck to do what? Accuracy? Maybe not. Nightmare Skewer? And that's our damage. Nightmare Skewer. And then we have... And then we have Entropic Entropic. So maybe we're done here. Look for a Ritual Pot. A Coldest Pot is not a bad idea. I can Nightmare the... The Skewer, and that can be the Skewer for damage, I guess, yeah. Yeah, that works. I think we're ready to go, guys. I know you guys wanted, like, Ghost in the Jars. Ain't nothing seated about this. It's all natural, baby. How can he call me seated? That was so rude of him. He just assumed I was seated. Okay, we got max HP. This is not, not a bad number. Um, so backflip. It's good. I can take another footwork, I guess. But I have three acrobatics. I'll do backflip. All right, so this is our goal. Nightmare after image, right? First and foremost, play well in plants. Lizard Tail has got our back. And then once we're set up, we're set up. Do I use a Duplot on well in plants actually? I sort of want to do putt while plans. No, but six after image sounds nicer, right? You look at the nightmare. Ah, do look at the nightmare for footwork as well. Now you're thinking with portals. How about this? I draw a nightmare next turn and I get 10 after images. Nah, 12. So now we do Pod Nightmare and we have a shit ton of after images. But the problem is we want a Nightmare Skewer. But this is just a little bit more fun. I mean, I don't know, that's a lot of after images. Where's Mama Fed Hands? I mean, I can get carried away here and I can get 20,000 after images or I can stick to the plan. They stick to the plan, right? But that is a nightmare right there. The plan. 
Let's stick to the plan. I mean, I could meme the crap out of this, I guess. We're not gonna need Malays. We're not gonna need Malays later, right? Like Malays have to go through artifacts. At that point, like I'm already blocking a shit ton, or I'm gonna be doing like piercing whale. All right, we're not gonna need it later. Oh my god, I forgot chemical X. Oops. Oopsies. All right, I'm still not fully set up though. So Nightmare Skewer was our plan. Did I have a bad plan? Is my block good enough? I can do pot and not get alchemized as well. So now I have Nightmare Alchemized and Skewer and then I'm just going crazy. Yeah? What could go wrong? Let's have fun. It's a game after all, we gotta have fun with games, right? It's a game after all. Let's have some fun. <clears throat> Alrighty. Well, well, well. I forgot to play Skewer, by the way. Skewer has chemical X, my bad. I caught that. I caught that at the end. Catalyst? Nah, it's not. It's, let's get out of Poison Lands. Let's get out of Poison Land. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hello, Monsieur. Cool deck. I, I, I can nightmare accuracy. I mean, I can do bot it. Skewer's enough damage, right? Skewer's enough damage. But I do want to do this do pot on the other after image. stuff. I do want to redraw this. Alright, let's do the Entropic. Alright, let's do the Entropic. No more, no more. Is that, and now I'm not using Entropic, this is bad.
Let's go! Hell yeah, there's our damage. Now we're cooking. That's lethal. That is a lot of damage. Luckily I have three other skewers so I can always do energy about them. Hey, what a way to kill the heart. Look at this. I'm just the potion king. We're gonna find Skewer, right? Look how much card draw I have. Hey, are we gonna find Skewer? I don't know. We have so much card draw. There it is. To top it off, we gotta be full life. It's necessary. It's absolutely necessary. Bow down to the Potion King. GG! And Lizard Tail is just sitting there like, man, I wanted a shot. That was a cool run. Believers won, guys. You guys believed in the Skewer Act 1, and look what it turned into. All right, Believers get their points. Give the Believers their points. Uh, we need to win the next two runs and we have 70% win rate. Just like yesterday.